hello guys how are you i think you would be fine and enjoying good health today's i have selected a topic which is very important topic from children's aspect and it is on congenital hypothyroidism congenital hypothyroidism is a lack of thyroid hormone that is present from birth if this disease is not treated within a few months after birth it turns into severe congenital hypothyroidism and can lead to growth failure and permanent mental retardation babies born with congenital hypothyroidism may show no effects or they may show mild effects that are often not recognized as a problem a significant deficiency of thyroid hormone may cause excessive sleepiness decreased interest in breastfeeding hypotonia which is a weakness of muscle tone and low crying or hoarseness irregular bowel movement joint dis significant and and hypothermia low body temperature The causes of congenital hypothyroidism include iodine deficiency and developmental defects in the thyroid gland. This developmental disorder can occur due to genetic defects or unknown causes. The treatment consists of a daily dose oral dose of thyroid hormone which is called as thyroxine because the treatment is simple effective and in expensive most developed countries use blood thyroid stimulating hormone which is called as tsh levels for newborn screening to diagnose congenital hypothyroidism most children with congenital hypothyroidism are well treated with thyroxine and develop normally in all aspects approximately 1 out of every 4000 babies has a severe lack of thyroid function many more have mild or moderate deficiencies and as far as the signs and symptoms are concerned i will tell you that babies born with congenital hypothyroidism may show no symptoms or they may show mild effects that are often not recognized as a serious problem and excessive sleeping decreased interest in nursing low muscle tone crying with a low voice or hoarse voice constipation significant joint dis and lack of body temperature if the fetal thyroid hormone deficiency is severe for example due to the complete absence of the thyroid gland a thyroidosis changes in appearance may occur including a larger anterior fontanel remaining posterior fontanel umbilical hernia and large tongue before new born screening less than half of severe cases of hypothyroidism were diagnosed in the first month of life if the disease is not diagnosed after a few months the growth of these babies will be delayed and stunted after a few day years after a few years they show recognizable facial and body features known as cretinism the continuation of severe and untreated hypothyroidism lead to severe mental disorder and in most cases to a decrease in their iq levels the reason what are the reasons worldwide the most common cause of congenital hypothyroidism is iodine deficiency but in most developed countries and regions with sufficient environmental iodine cases of diseases occur due to a combination of known and unknown causes usually there is a defect in the development of the thyroid gland and as a result either there is no atherosclerosis or the gland is not developed hypoplastic however recent studies have shown an increasing number of cases caused by the gland in situ which is called dyshormogenesis when there is a defect in hormone production hypoplastic thyroid gland may develop in the neck or even behind the tongue if 
the thyroid is in the wrong place it is called an ectopic gland if the thyroid gland develops at the base and ba- at the back of the tongue it is called as lingual thyroid some of these cases are abnormal gland caused by genetic disorders and are spontaneous and have no identifiable cause a japanese study found a statistical association between certain organochlorine insecticide and dioxin like chemicals in the milk of mothers who gave birth to the infants with congenital hypothyroidism in cases where infants have been exposed to lithium and most mood stabilizers in order to treat bipolar disorder infant hypothyroidism has been reported in some cases hypothyroidism detected at screening may be transient one of the most common causes in this condition is the presence of maternal antibodies that temporarily disrupt thyroid function for several weeks inheritance also play important role in this disease congenital hypothyroidism can also occur due to the congenital defects in thyroxine or triiodothyronine synthesis in a normally structured thyroid among the specific defects we can mention resistance to thyrotropin which is tsh deficiency of iodine absorption by the thyroid lack of organization deficiency of thyroglobulin and iodothyrosine dydynase in a small part of cases of congenital hypothyroidism the defect is caused by lack of thyroid stimulating hormone this condition can occur as a part of congenital hypo hypophysis genetic types of congenital hypothyroidism without goiter are as following the gene tshr is related with congenital hypothyroidism bony goiter and some genes like pax8 and there may be some changes in 15q 25.3 q 26.1 and another one is tshb and another gene nkx2 to 5 these are some genes which are correlated and congenital hypothyroidism with that goiter has been described as the most common endocrine disorder at birth and as far as diagnosis is concerned in developed countries almost all cases of congenital hypothyroidism are detected by newborn screening programs The, this work is done based on the measurement of TSH or thyroxine on the second or third day of the life of the child and how to check this we have some tests which are diagnostic test where such as TSH if TSH is high or T4 is low the baby's doctor and parents are contacted and referred to a pediatric endocrinologist is recommended to confirm the diagnosis and start treatment a technician per technique thyroid scan detects an abnormal thyroid radioactive iodine test RAIO U reveals thyroid hormone production disorder and as far as treatment are concerned the goal of newborn screening program is to diagnose and start treatment in the first 1 to 2 weeks of life treatment consists of a daily dose of thyroxine which is available as a small pill its generic name is levothyroxine and various brands are available in the market the tablet is crushed and given to the child with a small amount of water or milk The recommended dose is usually 10 to 15 mcg per kg per day typically 12.5 to 37.5 or 44 mcg within a few weeks and tsh levels are rechecked to ensure that these values have returned to normal with treatment as the child grows this level is measured regularly to maintain the correct dose 
As a child grows, the dose of medicine increases. What is prognosis of the disease? So about prognosis, most children born with congenital hypothyroidism who are properly treated with thyroxine develop normally in all respects. Even many people who are born with a lack of a thyroid gland in their T4 levels, birth are very low and near zero, have normal growth and achieve a normal level of intelligence. Although the higher education performance is lower than other brothers and sisters and sometimes learning problems are also seen in some of them. As far as epidemiology is concerned, congenital hypothyroidism occurs in 1 in 4000 to 1300 births worldwide. And this statistical difference is more related to iodine deficiency disorders and the screening method and the racial differences seems to be less effective in this case and structural abnormalities in the gland can occur due to the agenesis 22 to 42% of cases and thyroid ectopy which is 35 to 42% and thyroid defects in its normal location which is about 24-36% and it has been found that this disease occurs more in girls and at a at uh, in, age older than 40 weeks in the in the womb thank you for listening this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and have a wonderful nice day thank you very much